The Savage Quilter, a full-service quilt shop with a selection from over 42 different fabric manufacturers, including innovative quilting tools, books, and patterns. The Savage Quilter. Even if the fabric is cut off of the bolt at a perfect 90 degree angle, it might not be on grain line. If you look at the cut ends of the fabric and you, let's open it up so you can see it really good. And we start to kind of fray the edges. If it is on grain line, we will be able to take this thread and pull it all the way to the other side. But as you can see, when you start to pull this thread, you get other threads that are blocking the way. And then you start to get numerous threads. This is obviously cut off grain. If the threads ravel all the way from one selvage to the other selvage, then you know that your cut is on grain line. Now if you choose to straighten the grain line, you might want to purchase extra fabric because sometimes they can be wrapped on the bolt crooked because they're wrapped by a machine and we can lose up to two inches of fabric on each end for straightening. Those strips of fabric, however, can be placed in a box for a string piece quilt because this side that is torn will be on the straight of the grain and you can just cut from that side. And string piece quilts aren't always on the straight of the grain because they're a scrap kind of make-do quilt. If you don't like scrap quilts, the pieces that you tear off in order to make it on the straight of the grain, put them in a Tupperware box and have a potluck scrap box meal party in which individuals who love scrap quilts bring a half yard or a yard of fabric and you can trade for your box of scraps for their half yard or one yard cut. Now, the reason why fabric stores cut using a rotary cutter and ruler off the bolt is because if they tore all the fabric that they cut every day, they would have massive shoulder injuries. The best way to get your fabric on the straight of the grain is to make a small half inch cut and then tear it. And it sounds horrible. You're probably thinking, oh Lord, what did she do to that fabric? But as you can see, the threads will then come straight off because it's on the straight of the grain. Now that we've shown you how to tear your fabric grain to get it in alignment, if you look right here, you can see that if you pull this thread, it'll go all the way back down to the other side and you have one complete thread. So you can see that it is on grain. But if you look at this, if the fabric is on grain line, when the, when the selvages are matching up, this should be side by side. And you can see it's approximately off about one inch. So what we need to do is we need to put the rest of the fabric back in alignment. And how that is done is for the selvage to be lined up with this selvage and this torn edge to be lined up with this torn edge. So the first step of that is when you tear it, sometimes it has a tendency to kind of roll over a bit or ruffle. So I'm going to take my iron and with a little bit of steam, I'm going to iron this from the back side. The reason we iron it from the back side is simply if you ironed it from the front, it would turn under and do some kind of odd things. So now I'm going to move this down a little bit and I'm going to iron this other side and this side so that we have all of those edges laying flat. Now, when your fabric comes from the factory, it is rolled onto the bolt by a machine and the machine sometimes gets it off um, off grain line and folds it where it's funky. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna press out 
the fold that was put in there at the factory because when you realign the fabric grain, you'll be placing a new fold in the fabric that you can actually use to cut your strips if you choose because it will be on fabric grain. So we're going to take our Mary Ellen's Best Press. It's a starch alternative. So you can actually press your fabrics and let them set for a while without fear of silverfish eating the starch. But one thing you have to do with the Mary Ellen's Best Press is you have to shake it when you use it because it doesn't have emulsifying agents in it. So we're going to spray this on the fold and we're going to press it until it's dry. And normally I would press it until it was completely dry, dry as a bone. But for time's sake, we're going to go ahead and keep going on this. Now we have our edges pressed. And we have the fold pressed out. Now we are going to line up the selvages and the torn edge. And the best way to do this is to just simply do it by hand and pin it. And we're going to line this up and pin it every couple of inches. I can remember when I was growing up being told by several quilting friends of the family that you could take fabric and each person could grab one corner of the piece and pull the corner and that would realign the grain. However, after consulting with numerous sources, Everyone that I have read or spoken with via email says that that is not true. That does not realign the grain. If you have the opportunity to look at it under a microscope, it simply distorts the grain. So we don't want to be pulling on it to try to line it back up. I'm almost done here. You want to press once you get this done, we're going to press in this new fold. Okay, now that we have this pressed, and normally you would only be working in half yard increments. However, for demonstration purposes, I grabbed a piece out of my stash that I may want to use for something else later. The best way to do this is to start with some steam at this edge. And by the way, previously I sprayed some starch on this, so let me spray it again so that you see that. So we're going to start over here with some steam. And we are going to work our way down the selvage and then up at an angle. So we've gone down the selvage, we're going back up with steam along our... torn edge and then we are working our way back up to that fold that we are placing in there. And you always want to work from your definite straight of the grain edges such as this selvage that you've realigned and your torn edge because we know we know for sure that this fabric has been torn on the straight of the grain so we can definitely use that as an edge to work with. So you can see how all this steam and the Mary Ellen's Best Press is working this right back into perfect alignment. Now some of the books that I have read, and you press that until they're dry, some of the books that I have read go as far as to say turn this new fold over in alignment with your selvage and this side and press another fold in it. I get a little nervous about that because I'm always afraid I'll get my cutting off. But if you feel really comfortable with that, you can do that. I would suggest putting a ruler in here and then folding it over so that you don't end up with any sneaky bubbles in there. But I want to undo this to show you that you now have it perfectly in alignment on the cut edge or torn edge rather. 
and on these selvages. We've got our selvages in alignment. We have our cut edges in alignment. And then you have this lovely new fold in your fabric to work with. And at this point, you can take your fabric, smooth it back out, and you can line up your ruler with your folded edge or the selvage edge because you're guaranteed that it is on the straight of the grain. Before I cut, start cutting my strips, I would trim off about a half an inch just to get that torn edge off in case there's any threads that are going haywire or wonky in there. But now you have your fabric aligned on the straight of the grain. The Savage Quilter, a full service quilt shop with a selection from over 42 different fabric manufacturers, including innovative quilting tools, books, and patterns. The Savage Quilter.